Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. So today, Friday the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. If anyone's been fooled, we won't get fooled again, eh? <laughs> yeah, we will. So today I'm going to um, let you know how I did with my um, keto diet. Like I say, I'm generally on a low carb keto diet anyway, but I wanted to do a strict keto because I knew I'd put on a few inches here and there. My stuff was fitting, but it could, it, you know, I had to really squeeze everything. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. You know, like I say, I've got these really nice jeans on. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. And I bought them in TK Maxx and they were a little bit tight, but I thought, no, I'll get into them. You know, 30 inch waist, well, <laughs> we'll see. Medium size, super dry jeans no stretch <laughs> no lycra in these so i was really pleased anyway sorry about that just had a cup of tea um i just wanted to show you my little easter haul first okay this is so cute i will decorate over there where i have my christmasy bits i still got i just realized I still got some christmas flowers in there they look nice anyway um so i've got sort of like a bit of a sideboard it's a it's a uh an ikea billy bookcase billy bookcase no Kallax. i'll let you know anyway i've turned it upside down so it's long way so i've got a nice sideboard with all my bits on so in tk maxx when i actually when i bought these jeans so that we're going back about four weeks i started collect i saw these they had so lovely easter stuff in how cute is that 4.99 it's like a resiny type thing um I love that really nice bronzy um, look to it. And it's got little leaves. It's very, very um, artsy crafty. Love that. Really sweet. So I've got that one. Um, and at the same time, I bought this one. Oh, well, I mean, it's got it's got a little hard bit on the tail. Again, I think it's resin. Really nice um, silvery coloured one. Again, $4.99. Um, they they sit over there anyway with my other one. I've got another one over there that I've had a while. So they were lovely and they had so much there. I bought my mum a really cute little ceramic one. They had a spoon rest. I wish I'd have got it. A load of sort of kitchen. I just, I could have spent a fortune. Um, luckily, it's not in town, so I can't get to it. And then today, oh, sorry. Then um, a couple of weeks ago, I was looking for something to hang on my Easter tree. So I got those. I have got a real, um, God, it's a curly, my father-in-law always corrects me on it because I'm rubbish. It's a curly willow tree, you know, with the curly um, branches. And I've lived in Holland and we used to get a curly tree in for the children. This is going back 20, 30 years. So they always have um, Easter trees in Holland. And those are just so cute. Look, I'll, I will show you little sort of like kitschy, Easter eggs to go on. They're just, they're just polystyrene. They were about $7.99, but I, they're ones that will go back. So I'm going to get those in. And then today I went into the local, I went to the local charity shops because I really wanted to see if they had anything there, but nothing that really caught my eye, nothing that I'd like. So I got this from my local little, very um like gift shop, Bazaar in town. It's beautiful. They have lovely stuff. This was about I think it was about three seventy five or three ninety nine. Little hair in an egg shape that will hang up. And then I got this little tin. Isn't that cute? I'll probably fill those with sweets for my granddaughter when she comes over for our little Easter egg hunt. That's just the cutest, isn't it? Little rabbit. So I've got that. And then I bought this little cream jug, milk jug. That's so honestly, just I couldn't help it. <laughs> Help it. That was seven fifty. That was quite a lot for me. Yeah. Um. Gis Gisela Graham. Gisela Graham. Gisela Graham. She does really nice stuff. Really lovely artsy stuff. And then yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. I bought this little dish, which is really cute. Um. It's like a little Easter egg. Like the bottom of an Easter egg. You could put in a big chocolate egg in there, couldn't you? Really, a little egg cup. That was Waitrose one fifty. They only had one. If they'd have had more, I'd have bought them all. I just think that's so pretty. This is the same colour as my um, kitchen utensils and my fridge. So that'll go beautifully in there. Filled with Easter eggs and sweets. Story about that later. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so that was my Easter stuff. Really pleased with that. Really pleased. I'll probably get some more bits 
fill it up, get a nice candle and that'll be the other side there. Um, I popped into Boots because I had a Boots voucher from my son, uh, a £10 Boots voucher. I had £10 off and I wanted to pick up some more of this, um, this night cream, number seven. The Restore and Renew face and neck. It really works. Highly, highly recommend. I've tried lots of different stuff. You know, I've got the, that, I've, it's happening. I've got the lady neck, the old lady neck. Just look, look how many years that takes off when I do that. Grab by the scruff of the neck and then there it is. <laughs> That's disgusting, isn't it? Anyway, we age beautifully. But we, you know, we want to age with a bit more oomph. There we go. So that's the Restore and Renew Face and Neck. I bought this last year when it was on the Jeep. No. So I've got that much left. I don't use this on my face. I use it on my neck because I say, it gosh, it works. I don't, and, and sort of like under here, I don't feel like I'm too saggy at the moment yet. <laughs> it's because I use that. I also use the eye cream. I've been using this for a while now. I hope you can see it. it's the Restore and You, all number seven. At the moment, this is all three for two. So three for two, I had, um, so these are 29 pounds each. So that's 60, this was 27. So over 90 pounds or something it would have been. And I had, so I only paid for these two and I got that free because I think that was the cheapest one. You always get the cheapest one free. So get some that are really worth it. And I had £10 voucher, £10 off, and I had my other voucher and I ended up paying £39. So I did really well. I got a really, really good deal. So if you, you know, I don't, I do spend on good quality beauty products. I love number seven. I love their makeup and I love their skincare. It works. You know, I thoroughly recommend this, you know. Highly, highly recommend it. It works. So I got another one of the night creams. There we go. Just have a look at that. Easy. Restore and renew. That's night cream. I thought I'd go for the day cream this time because it wasn't until I got there. She so said, oh, it's, you can still I, you can still buy one, get one free, eat, buy two, get one free, even with the voucher. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> still, probably, I probably was only going in for one. Look at it. There they are. I did get fooled. <laughs> So that is the, de the day cream, which I'm going to start using in the day. Um, I seem to use this in the day before I'm going out, before I put my makeup on, because it works. Gosh, it, it works straight away. You know, it's really good. I use this almost every day too. So that's the Restore and Renew. And I had the face serum. It was okay, but I, 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 that didn't last as long. You've got the bigger bottle now. Anyway, I thought I'd try the Lift and Luminate. I've had the Restore and New. I've had the Perfect and Protect. Let's try this one. It, it was free. Let's try it. Let's have a go. So I'm really pleased with that. So that was the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. I got two of the Restore and Renew. I got that one free. And I got £20 off as well. So over £90. I mean, ridiculous. £90-odd pounds worth of stuff. And I paid for £39 for it. So I was really, really, really chuffed with that. Because I would have got it because I got it last year. I would have got it on a deal somehow. I picked up the HRT today. If you ladies need a boost in life and your your life feels shitty and you're going through menopause, perimenopause, you're sweating at night, you can't be arsed, your mood is low, go and get some of this. Stick. <laughs> so I just picked up that today. Um, when I first paid for it the first time, I only paid for one prescription, but because it's got two different types of HRT in it, I've got to pay for two, but that's okay. I, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it um, because it works absolutely brilliant. If you want me to go more in depth, I really will. I, I'm, I'm really happy to do that. In fact, I'll just give you a quick um, update. Since starting this, I noticed stuff straight away. I was thrilled. I felt lighter even by them saying yes, because I thought they're going to say no. I don't know why. We are programmed now to think that we, we can't have HRT. Well, we can. It's not the same as it was. This is, you know, uh, what is it? It's, let's say that's estrogen. So I've got an estrogen and an estrogen and progesterone. It progress, pro, pro, dre, progesterone. There we go. <laughs> In there. 
my mood my mood swings gone my rheumatism gone no it hasn't gone but my rheumatoid arthritis is so much better i mean i can't tell you how much better i feel it's kicked right in but i felt i felt psychosomatic i think was just the fact that i'm getting it i'm going to feel better my night sweats basically gone um i did have a period in January I started these on the 5th and I had a period on the 27th and then I got my period again the other day so I missed February and then um I didn't have it till sort of like the end of March very you know so I'm hoping you know I was hoping that was it <laughs> no such luck but this is obviously helping I felt a little bit teary boobs hurt a little bit but not as bad. I mean, for about a year and a half, I was wearing, having to buy night bras, wearing sports bras to bed. I had three weeks worth of that, three weeks worth of PMT. I'd eat all the wrong stuff. I was so unhappy. I was in so much pain all the time from my aches, from my, um, my neck and my feet. My plantar fasciitis was playing. Every, everything hurt constantly months of it months and months just constant pain that was it and I thought this is life then is it is this is this it I was so unhappy so unhappy I didn't know what to do you know mood swings night sweats day sweats um vaginal dryness all that horrible stuff that unfortunately goes with it um I don't care if it's TMI my channel we're talking about menopause here it's serious <laughs> So when I went in to get my first lot of HRT, I was prepared. I went in, um, I'd gone on, Googled it, I'd YouTubed it, I'd bought this fantastic book, Louise Earl, sorry, Louise Earl, Liz Earl, uh, The Good Menopause Guide, buy this book if you uh, want to know what to do. Um, I went on Louise Newsom's website, um, the, the, the Menopause Fairy, um, the menopause doctor, Doctor Menopause, all these brilliant women. That um, and there's a, and there are men as well. There are men as well that um, that specialise in it. And um, I went in prepared. And as I say, my nurse practitioner, who was fantastic, said, "Yes, you you haven't got anything wrong with you." She took my blood pressure; it was slightly elevated. Well, hi, she took it again and it was just slightly elevated. I think normal elevation for a lady my age. Um, and I walked out of there, went straight into the chemist, got these and slapped it on the next day. Really happy. I felt good, didn't, I felt good instantly because I knew. And now it's three months on and the difference, like I say, that the, I, I have no pain today. Look, that's it, no pain. I'll get the odd twinge, but I mean, on a scale of one to ten and it was nine <laughs> my nine you know I'm maybe at a one so that's really good still get plantar fasciitis I don't think that's anything to do with menopause but the other stuff definitely was um so really really pleased I'm it's just fantastic go and get some HRT ladies don't wait until you're on the floor screaming you know you don't need to wait until your period stop you, perimenopause is what you're going through to get there and going through is is the hard bit so this is really good for you you know it, it helps with osteoporosis it helps with so many things your mood your skin everything there's so many benefits to taking hrt so find out do your own research obviously lots of research and um go and get some I expect you've been wondering how much, um, how many inches I've lost. Well, here's my little book. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, isn't it really? I started um, on my diet on the 21st of March and now it's the 1st of April. So, um, please, 10 or 11 days ago, whatever. Anyway, my chest measured 43 inches and now it's 41. My waist measured 34 and a half inches and now it's 32. My hips and tummy, because I've got a high hip and my tummy sits, my first part of my tummy sits where my sort of hip measurements are, um, were 45 and now they're 40. So I've lost five inches 
off of my sort of like top of my bum hips and where my tummy was the, the, the biggest part of me should I say I measure the biggest part of me which is there I've lost five inches off my waist I've lost two and a half inches and off my bust I've lost two inches so I'm really pleased and in fact I'm going to put a picture up now for the comparison of and I'm wearing the same outfit one was a few weeks ago when I did um, a haul and I wore my jumpsuit and then this morning when I put it on again just to show you the difference and I can definitely see a difference so I'm really pleased here it is now I've got this little thing yeah and it's supposed to switch on and off it only works once in a while so yeah goodbye I'll just do it by hand um like I say I did buy a couple of things from the second hand the, the charity shop today it's this lovely beaded necklace it's very sort of antique looking it's got the blues and the antique gold and the silvers in little beaded necklace that's quite a long one really pretty actually can you see those lovely colors there lovely i've got that because i've got an, another top from vinted hopefully it'll be here soon i, I hope so because i want to do a collective haul this weekend and try on and I bought, so that was £2 from Dorothy House. This was from Deborah. Normally they're more expensive, but this was only, these were only 2 25 A pair of trousers, wide polka dot trousers, black and white polka dot. They were originally Georgia Asda. God, they don't even look like they've ever been worn. They look really, really wet. They're really good condition. They're a size 12. So look at me in my size back. I didn't say I was out of my size 12s, but I, yeah, I think I was definitely pushing I was definitely 14, 12 foot pushing the 14 a bit more than I really wanted to. Um, so that's it really. That's my little collective haul. Um, I did, I did show you this, didn't I? I just wanted to tell you what I did last night because it's confession time. Yep. I thought, wouldn't mini eggs, Cadbury's mini eggs look nice in there? Uh, so what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I put a big bag of mini eggs in there and I even found some jelly beans and I ate them. Well, there you go, isn't it? You know, I, I'm not certainly not perfect. I am absolutely no angel when it comes to dieting. I've been dieting all my life. <laughs> but this is maybe why I put those inches on. So, and what happened is because I hadn't eaten sweets for a long time, I got really bad cramps in my toes i don't know why it happens to me but it happens every time i eat far too many sweets i get really bad cramp in my feet and toes so it's obviously the sugar is going into my muscles the glu um, glucose and going uh, doing something to me so that's not good is it so i need to not eat that much candy not eat that much sugar if i'm going to have it i need to really um look after myself I really need to um I'm not saying never because I love chocolate and I love sweets and I don't think I should not eat it I'm going to you know I don't eat anything else I'm very good I don't eat lots of cake I don't eat lots of crisps I don't eat lots of biscuits once in a while I'll have some gluten-free bits because I want a treat why not you know I don't do anything else <laughs> coffee that's it that's all I have so here we are that was full of sweets and those, and I thought it's a fa family size bag, not even a normal sharing size, a family size sharing size, a uh, family size sharing bag. And me and my husband ploughed through those. And in fact, I know I ate most because I'm a greedy cow and I can't leave it, can I? I've got a cupboard full of sweets, <laughs> but they're left. There's a, I've got two Easter eggs that I was given and a few other bits, but I'm keeping those for my granddaughter. It's Easter in a couple of weeks and I'm going to be really good until then. If I want chocolate, I've got dark chocolate and I've got sugar-free jelly. But I'm also not to eat too much chocolate on Easter Sunday because what will happen, I'll get really bad cramps in my toes and feet and I won't be able to sleep at night. So that's it. The tea I've been drinking today, I bought um, chai, masala chai. It's lovely. I really, really like it. It's not as nice as the chai masala, the masala chai that my um, in-laws bought me back from... I'm going to say, did they go to India, Sri Lanka? I think it was Sri Lanka. That was just beautiful. Or was it India? Oh my goodness. They generally go somewhere amazing 
every few years. They're going to Canada next, I think. So that's it. That's my collective haul. That's my update on my my um, HRT and my update on my keto diet. So tonight I'll be having a um, a big salad because I had that tooth out. It was really easy for me to eat like things like tuna mayonnaise, egg mayonnaise, grated cheese, lots of um, guacamole. So I had a really very soft diet. I had that tooth out last Friday and I wanted to keep it clean and make sure I didn't get dry socket. And um, so I ate very low carb, nothing chewy, nothing crunchy, nothing that could like disturb the, 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 um, the gap. <laughs> you know, you have to get a clot, a blood clot in there, which forms and it needs to stay there. So I was really, really careful. I did everything the doctor told me, dentist told me, sorry. And um, that was a week ago and everything's really good. A couple of days pain. I had about three days where I took paracetamol. Um, I did salt, water, mouthwash, all that. Oh, on Monday, I'm going to um, watch Supergrass in London, Brixton Academy. So really excited about that. I'll tell you more about that when I do my collective haul. Um, my, sorry, my um, vintage and new look haul. Um, some really nice bits in there, some disappointing bits and a blue light card saga you won't even want to hear about probably. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me again today. I'm going to edit this and pop it up there. So you know I'm still here. I've now got 32 subscribers. That's wonderful, isn't it? I know it's I know it's only tiny, but I'm so pleased. So um, with huge thanks to the lovely Tracy Jane. If you didn't come here from her channel, then go to her channel from here and subscribe to her. She's wonderful. She's a bubbly, lovely lady. She wears gorgeous clothes. She does gorgeous hauls and she always looks so nice. And she's just just a pleasure to watch, really. You know, some people have just got that, haven't they? So um, she's just lovely. Again, she's going through the menopause as well. And I think uh, us menopause ladies need to stick together, don't we? <laughs> There's lots of us, more of us than you think. <laughs> so... I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, over the weekend, so it's Friday, so over the weekend, I'm going to put an, another um, video up. Like I say, I do a really long week at work and then the following week is shorter. So you, you might get two in one week and then one the next. Um, ears burning, someone's talking about me. So yes, like, comment and subscribe. If you'd like to comment down below, I will answer every comment. You know, if you want me, you know, if you'd like me to see something or me to do more things, I will. If you'd like to know more about what I'm eating, um, I will. I'll probably put a photograph of my tea that I'm going to have tonight. I bought it yesterday, ended up gorging on sweets and didn't eat it. So I'll have it tonight. Just a lovely goat's cheese salad. Um, I'll pop it up and it's going to be low carb, keto friendly. Um, yeah, so like, comment and subscribe. I love doing this and I really wish I had the time to do more, but maybe you never know in the future. So lovely seeing you again. See you very soon. Bye bye. As promised earlier, I just thought I'd put in what I'm having for my tea. So that is um, a bistro salad. I've just made a dressing out of balsamic vinegar, salt and virgin olive oil. I've got prosciutto crudo ham in there. Um, what's the other thing? Avocado, obviously, and a goat's cheese. I just split in half, popped under the grill so it's nice and warm. And then I've got black pepper and a little bit more dressing on the top. That's going to be lovely.